Hello. This video is for you if you are making a box, a uh, box and whisker plot, and you are starting to learn how to find the outliers, um, which will turn it into a modified box plot. Okay. So we want to see if any of these numbers is considered an outlier. Okay. So what is an outlier? First of all, an outlier is a piece of data that is so far away from the other pieces of data that we don't want it to make our box plot look like to misrepresent our information, if that makes sense. We still want to show that piece of data, but we don't want it to make it look to misrepresent our data, like I already said. So <laughs> here's how we find it. Okay. We find it by first finding our IQR, which is our inner quartile range. All right. Stay with me. All right. This is for my people who like to read it. If you're like, don't tell me, just show me. I'm going to do that. Okay. So if you need to take a screenshot of this, if that'll help you great. If not pretend I even do that. Okay. So IQR is my inner quartile range. I find that by subtracting the first quartile from the third quartile. So I'm assuming if you've been making box and whisker plots, you've probably been finding the quartiles, but if not, I will link a video in the corner, but I'm also going to do it here. Okay. So to find these, I'm going to start by finding quartile two, which is another name for my median or the middle number. Okay. So I literally just count to the middle, right? Oh, hold on. I did that kind of weird. There we go. <laughs> so my median or my um, second quartile is between 55 and 63. So to find out what number is in the middle of those, I'm going to add them together and divide by two, which gives me 59. Okay. That's the number in the middle of those two numbers. So that is my second quartile. I don't actually need that to find my inner quartile range, but it helps me find the other ones, right? Okay, so now to find my first quartile, I'm going to find the middle of this half. Duh, duh, duh. Okay, it's 48. I didn't have to average anything this time because it was just one number. So quartile one is 48. My third quartile is the middle of this half. So it is 72. Okay, so to find my inner quartile range, okay, I take... Quartile three, which we said is 72. And I subtract quartile one, which is 48. Okay. When I subtract that, I get 24. Okay. That is my inner quartile range. Now, what do you do with that? We take our inner quartile, inner quartile range and we multiply it by 1.5. Okay. So 24 times 1.5, okay? And that gives me 36. And this, my friends, is our number that is going to help us figure out what outliers are, okay? So 36. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to find my lower limit, and my upper limit, okay? Lower limit, upper limit. Maybe I should type this out so it'd be faster, sorry. There we go. Okay, so my lower limit, I take the first quartile and subtract, I wish this had a name. It doesn't, as far as I know. The IQR times 1.5, that's a lame name, but there you go. So we're gonna take 48 and subtract 36. Okay, so I get 12. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, you can probably guess what I do for the upper limit, or maybe you have sat on that little paper. We take 72 and we add this number. Okay, so 72 plus 36, and I get 108. Okay, you're like, great, what does this even tell me? What this tells me is anything lower than 12, which is my lower limit, is going to be considered an outlier. Okay. Anything higher than my upper limit, which is 108, is going to be considered an outlier, okay? So if you look at our list of numbers up here, 10 is lower than 12, so 10 is an outlier. Outlier. 10. Um, this one looked pretty far away from the other numbers, but it's actually still within. Okay, so 105 is not an outlier in this case. Now you might be like, hold on, 
10 is closer to 30 than uh, 105 is to 74, right? So why is this one an outlier and this one's not? Well, it's not about how close it is to the number next to it. It's about how close it is to the quartile closest to it, okay? So that's why it might look like 105 should be and 10 not, but it's all about these limits, okay? So there we go. If you are making a modified box plot, then you label the outlier with a little asterisk. And I've got a bunch of videos where I make some of those that I will link. Okay, hopefully that made sense. Bye.